Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to share a safe way to make safety pin earrings. So before I even start, I wanted to make a disclaimer. This is not uh, safe for kids or anyone with allergic reactions. Please feel free to research if this DIY is safe for you. This is just what works for me because I'm not allergic to anything. Just make sure that you can do this because I don't want anybody to have like weird reactions because of this DIY. If you're okay with this, if this is safe for you, we're going to be moving on to the DIY. For this, I'm going to be using this uh, gold safety pins. I bought them at Hobby Lobby and I got like two sizes. I'm going to be working with those two sizes because I want options. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is obviously um, opening them. Then I'm going to be taking a nail file and I'm going to be working to actually uh, get rid of like the pointy part because it's the first thing that you should do. You should never put a pen onto your skin while it's pointy. That's really dangerous. Please never do that. So yeah, I'm just going to be uh, Pretty much making that round by just doing all these movements around uh, with my nail file. Pretty much went on the top and then once the top was like short or not like a needle anymore, I just worked on the edges, making the whole thing round with my nail file. Until you touch it, it's not pointy anymore, doesn't feel like a needle. Make sure that it closes though. This is how much I ended up getting rid of, pretty much the pointy part or the dangerous part. Just make sure though you don't overdo it because then you can close it and it pops up and opens or it doesn't even make it, which is kind of funny. The next step is as equally important as getting rid of like the pointy part, which is disinfecting it. For that, I'm going to be using this, I believe this is called like paint mixing palette or, you know, something like that. Just anything that you can pretty much pour liquid into it. I'm placing my safety pin earrings and I'm just going to be soaking them into ethyl alcohol, pretty much making sure, super sure, extra sure that the part that is going to go through my earlock, that is pretty much the most important part they are covered until they are like swimming in there and I'm just going to leave it there swimming for about an hour hour and a half I left it I'm just going to remove them from like those pools of alcohol that I made and I'm just going to make sure they are dry because here we go again I'm just going to place them back in but this time I'm going to be soaking them into hydrogen peroxide I just made a pool of that again and I'm just going to leave them there for about another hour because I wanted to make extra sure that I could use them and they were safe for me to use if you don't want to do that, if it's too risky for you, you're underage or you just don't want to do that, you can use an ear wire, some pliers and just place your safety pin in. If you want to go for like the concept of wearing a safety pin but not committing to the whole thing. Either way, I find the idea pretty cool, edgy and fun. This is just an idea that I saw online of these earrings and I wanted to give them a try and I understand that people might be like scared to do this but I think I got rid of like the danger stuff so it's ready to use. I got inspired from James Charles, the YouTuber. He has worn earrings like this and I thought the idea was super cool, looks super edgy and maybe this has been a trend for a while and I'm like super late to the game which is fine, it's okay to be behind sometimes, but I wanted to give it a try and it's perfect for Halloween. But yeah, I really hope you liked this one, found it helpful, gave you some ideas maybe. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, check out more Halloween stuff and earrings that I have on my channel, subscribe for more and let me know what you think of this ones. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you later and take care, bye!